Now that the neural uplink has been successfully installed, I can access my full database. Director Hill is reviewing the SHIELD protocols that you also recovered. Feeling better, Jarvis? Everything seems to be in working order. You have no idea how much this means to me. To SHIELD. Thank you, Bruce. You too, Kamala. With this, I can start rebuilding SHIELD in earnest. If you ever need anything, give me a call. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Looking forward to it, Director. I feel like I should salute or something. No, no need for that. Good luck, both of you. Jarvis, you think you can get us Tony? This will take some time, but I should be able to find Mr. Stark. In the meantime, I've uncovered something that might be of interest to Ms. Khan in the harm room. The what now? The holographic augmented reality machine. Something the Avengers use for training. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. Never heard of it. He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. Check out the fancy drawbridge. Uh, typical, subtle Tony. After you. I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. Me neither. like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? I mean... You see why you like this? Uh, no, he, uh, likes smashing. Why not? It's kind of fun. So, what's the best part of being a Hulk? You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres! Uh, kinda. Great. So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing. You can make that jump. Just a little farther this time. on that bridge, Kamala. Okay. Guess it needs power. Ta-da! I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. <laughs> okay, calm down. Nice job. <gasps> Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number five. Can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark 
The Tony Stark lives here? Oh, here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <sighs> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that. You knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the ball despite saving the day and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I'd change that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look, at smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh, no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I got to get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Ah, of 
course, Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own response. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. That, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Same about her. Let's get airborne. Party crashers. Oh, hey, fellas. Times. Gonna need a helmet. <laughs> ah, great Uncle Rob, war hero. Gotta finish suiting up. Gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? <laughs> How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. Nice moves, kiddo. Yeah, Lala. You have looked down on me from the moment we met. Let me introduce you to what I'm going to call. Catchy! Pulls right off the tongue! We got air trouble! Stay close to the Hulk, or as close as he'll let you. 
No, I got this. Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Brucey and I are seeing someone about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing after. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Oh oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. <laughs> 